hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys i have used this idiom before but please permit me to use it again because it seems the most apt idiomatic expression that best captures this situation that we're about to delve into now so what is that idiom it's in yoruba language so i'll start off with the yoruba original uh, expression then i'll translate it into english so the idiom goes thus now what does that mean it means if you steal the livestock of a poor person the whole community will hear about it so if you steal the livestock of a poor person the whole community will get to hear about what you have done so that is the expression and why am i using that expression to introduce this video well guys i bring you this nigeria has never been this bad this is according to uh Adeboye, the leader of the redeemed christian church of nigeria so again the headline nigeria has never been this bad Adeboye fires buhari so that's the headline now to the body of the story general overseer of the redeemed christian church of god pastor enoch Adeboye, has expressed displeasure at the rising spate of insecurity in nigeria stating that the country has never been this bad Adeboye made this comment as he announced the kidnapping of five pastors of his church on thursday evening at j3 slash j4 area of ogweri on the benin ijebu ode shagamo expressway the ogun state police command through its public relations officer abimbola oyeyemi uh, confirmed the incident the abducted pastors were traveling in a commercial vehicle with registration number kw 230xa belonging to abia line transport company which was coming from the eastern part of the country heading towards lagos they were said to be on their way to attend the church's ministers conference in lagos when they were attacked by hoodlums numbering about 10 who were reported to have forcefully stopped the vehicles the abducted pastors according to the police are chidoze elewa mil chiamela aroha mil okoro ohu wokwe mil undubizi owubaze mil and abileji chindima female Pastor Adeboye was giving a talk at the minister's conference holding at the Redeem Camp located along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, lamented the spate of insecurity in the country, saying that the situation has never been this bad. As a father, how do you think I should feel to hear that five of my children have been kidnapped whilst on their way to attend the minister's conference, he said in response to a journalist's question. So now there you have it. As I said, So now these people now, they have now gone to the very top of society to point their weapons at the powers that be. So now we are now having this clap back now. So now the state of insecurity in the country was not any worse than it is before these uh, five pastors were abducted. And now Pastor Adeboye is now coming out to say the insecurity in the country is the worst that it has ever been so it was not any worse than it was prior to members of his staff being being abducted so now what has changed the only thing that has now changed for him to now come into the public space to make this critical comment towards the government of the day is that this incident that people have been lamenting about since 2015 has now come very close to his home and is actually now come into his home effectively because these are his members these are his senior members of staff these are people coming to meet him and these are people coming to work for him in an event that he has organized and then they have now been abducted as countless other people have been abducted prior to this abduction
production so the only thing that has now changed the only differential is that this has now caught very close to home is now caught close to the bone to the point that this guy is now having to lament so now you ha now have to question why he's now lamenting in this way because he has been silent all the way through when all of these things has been going on and everybody else has been suffering it and instead he will be praising uh, the president and Oshibanjo and inviting them to his church and celebrating with them and all whatnot but now that this thing has now come close to his own home now he's suddenly now aware that the state of insecurity in the country is the worst it's ever been well it's always been that case since 2015 in fact we have a four years solid of it and we are set to have four years more of it so now the only thing that's now changed is that your members are now being kidnapped and now you are now lamenting and were you not aware that the uh, kidnapping was going on in the country before were you not aware that uh, Fulani herdsmen were slaughtering people uh, throughout Yoruba land for the past two three four years this is something that are uh, that recalls every day and this is something that, that is in the news virtually every day or almost every minute of every day so now you are now finding the voice to now voice out something that you should have voiced out a long time ago now this is now the state of play now in Nigeria these people are now going after the powers that be and I don't think it will stop with the Adeboye by the way because they will go around the country because now they know that this is where the money is and they know that uh, they I mean this activity that is kidnapping and abducting they know that because and robbery is no longer something you can do in Nigeria because nobody carries cash in Nigeria anymore they all pay by card now unless you are an armed robber you go and uh, uh, rob somebody and then you take them to the ATM and they ask them to start uh, punching in their number into a cash machine and that is your arrest that you are organizing so they know that armed robbery is uh, no longer a possibility and this is now the new activity now that has replaced armed robbery and now these people are now identifying that look all these uh, uh, middle of the road people that were just uh, abducting there's no real money in them the real money is with the powers that be so now they are now going after those powers that be uh, we are I think CSCS uh, uh, mother is still with them now Adeboye has uh, five members with them and they'll start escalating and uh, going through the hierarchy of society to, to reach to as high up as they as they can reach but then of course this is something that uh, the everyday persons has been suffering for a good while now so now why now this new lamentation and this new audience is not something that I really fully understand because my empathy of course is with these people that have been abducted they were only going on a religious uh, uh, excursion or whatever it is that were, they were going they were going to a religious activity and that's fair enough they are everyday people too to all intents and purposes they're not really directly related to this guy but they are related by name association of course because obviously they are going they are members of his church and they are going to attend his church activity so he cannot escape that and we've also had the fashionality situation and there are countless people also being abducted in the northern part of nigeria that we don't really pay uh, too much heed to because they're that far away and we always think that well uh, gambari pafulani and all that you know because they are all malams together you say so we say they are doing their thing but now they are now coming into our own zone to carry out this activity and suddenly it's now cutting very close to the bone now it's cutting very close to the bone not just for us southerners and especially the yorubas is cutting close to the bone of the powers that be because you will recall that uh, uh is it bida or bida or some some very high ranking uh um military personnel under the good luck jonathan was waylaid on his way to his farm and they and they just did away with him uh is it b-e-d-e-h -E i think his name is i'm not quite sure i think it was the chief of staff under good luck jonathan he, he is now no more under this same activity of uh, this fulani type element so now they are now in the bushes all over yoruba land and you don't because there's a vast swathe of forestry that goes through yoruba land so you don't really know at which point they are going to strike so it's not very easy to man all of these spaces but then how do you secure, secure rather these spaces is is the question really because they can come out of any place at any time but they don't even operate at night they operate throughout the day really they can come in the mornings in the afternoons and any time of the day and this is not what we are now having to contend with but then the nigerian everyday man of course has been contending with this for long enough now that they are going after the past that be now 
all, all the focus is suddenly now uh, taking on a new urgency. So now, this going on now is now reaching uh, like a crescendo. But so how does it pan out and how does it play out? Because it's not something that can carry on, but um, what's, what is the way out of it? Conversations in the comment section is what I am inviting. How do we rescue ourselves from the uh, Fulani headsmen is the question. But before you can give me the answers to this question uh, in the comment section, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray. Bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come let me know what your ideas are in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry on with you in the comment section. But here I say peace.